Welcome to the RC Showcase. I'm Briar Cisneros and welcome back to another video. I do want to try and get at least one video out to all of you this week because right now it's been very hard because in Southern California we're in the middle of a heat wave and so I can only record these videos in the morning because that's when it's most cooler. Of course it's nine o'clock now so I can already feel the heat starting to come back so I I try, I'm trying to try and get through this quickly, but still give give in-depth answers here. But what I want to talk about today is talk about kind of how I acquired over 600 CDs. I think I was asked this a while ago. So again, I want to do a more in-depth answer and hopefully this will give some of you tips if you want to start collecting CDs or vinyl. I think this can work either way. So if you enjoy these type, if you enjoy this types of video, please go ahead, leave a like on this video. Um, if you want to see me talk about more stuff, then leave suggestions in the comments below. I'll take them for account. Last thing before I begin, I do want to give a brief shout out to Jason the Old Millennial. I'm going to be appearing on his channel for the first time alongside Adam from What The Gym. We're going to be talking about our favorite animated movies, so that should be a lot of fun. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go ahead and check out Jason's channel. Again, if you want to see me talk something else besides music, then that's where you want to go. It will be this Friday, so two days from now. It will be at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time probably be different for some of you but hopefully you, you come along and it should be a lot of fun so let's go ahead on with the video so the first thing I want to talk about are places I don't really recommend and I'm mainly talking about places like Walmart or Target or any sort of stores like that um, the problem is especially in recent time the selection has gotten significantly smaller I mean, you might find some of the big names, like, you know, you might find Michael Jackson or you might find Def Leppard and maybe even some Black Sabbath if you're lucky. But in the long run, it's definitely not going to give you a lot of variety. Um, so I think it's a good place to get started. But in the long run, I recommend you find other other means. So with that stuff out of the way, now let's talk about places I do recommend. And the first thing I want to talk about are places like Goodwill shops, thrift stores, Salvation Armies, any sort of stores like that that have used items. And usually those places will have a CD section and you know it varies depending on the store, but for the most part you might find some CDs there. And the good thing about those is that of course a lot of the CDs are donated by other people and some of them have pretty big collections. And sometimes you'll find some cool rarities that you're probably not gonna find even online for that matter. I will say just be aware because they are used copies and some used copies vary in quality. Um, so make sure you open it up and check out the disc before you buy. So that way you're not gonna get a, like a CD that's not gonna work and you're gonna have to clean it on your own. If you're lucky, you might have a, you might, you might find a thrift store that has a machine that will clean the disc for you. But if, if they don't, then you're kind of on your own. So buy with caution. Kind of on the topic of thrift stores, and another place I recommend are probably your local record shop. Because again, not only will they have vinyl, but they'll usually have a good selection of CDs. Um, sadly, I don't really have a record store nearby my house, so I don't really have that luxury. But if you do happen to have a record store nearby, please go ahead and utilize that as much as you can and support local businesses as well. And the last thing I'll talk about are online stores. That is the main source where I get my CDs from. And I'd say 95% of the CDs that I have are from Amazon. That's pretty much my, the main site I use. Because you know, Amazon has a pretty wide variety of artists and genres and you get some for pretty good prices for the most part. And of course, if you, if you have Amazon Prime, you can take advantage of that. You can have free shipping, you can have other perks. So I use Amazon a lot. But of course, Amazon's not the only site that I use because sometimes Amazon do have their limits. And if Amazon doesn't have a CD that I'm looking for, then I'll usually go to eBay next because you know people are usually selling a lot of CDs on eBay. Of course, the big, the big thing to look out for are scams. So make sure that the person who's selling them has good reviews and you should be good to go. Luckily, eBay does a good job at looking out for scams. So, so go ahead, just be careful. And of course, if eBay doesn't even have the thing that I'm looking for, then for a last attempt, I usually go to Discogs, which again has a pretty wide variety of people selling CDs. And again, they vary in prices depending how rare the CD is. Then 
just keep looking around you might find a good price for what you're looking for i've only ever bought from discogs twice and from those two times they usually come out pretty good so that's like another site you can go and check out but i'm sure there's tons of other sites you can buy cds from just make sure big thing make sure they're not scams so that's pretty much it for me personally. If there's other places that I didn't mention, make sure you comment that below, as well as questions that you also may have. And hopefully you found this helpful for those who want to start collecting CDs or vinyl. Again, they can work both ways. As long as you don't forget the number one rule, spend wisely. No CD or vinyl is worth going in debt for. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, then please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel, of course. Don't forget to check out the live stream with me, Jason and Adam, on Friday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Again, link to that will be in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. And now, if you excuse me, I'm going to fill a bathtub full of water, put ice in it, and then I'm going to jump in. Goodbye.